When you're paddling whitewater, a throw bag and rope in general can be super useful for rescues, but it could also be really hazardous. If you're carrying a throw bag on your body, uh, then you wanna make sure it's on some sort of quick release system. If it's not on a quick release system and you are paddling or swimming and the rope comes out and gets tangled up or snagged on something in the river, then you could get pulled underwater and if it's not on quick release, you won't be able to necessarily get away from that rope. And so we always want some sort of quick release system. Here we have one of the uh, different types of belt quick release systems that are out there. It's meant to go around your waist and what you wanna do is make sure that the toggle is on your dominant side. So I'm a righty, so I put the toggle here on my right side, that just makes it a little bit easier. And then if I wanna release, if this were to get tangled up, I just pop this open and the whole bag comes off. A few things that are important with that in terms of setting this up, I'm gonna show you right here, right? What we're gonna to wanna to do is have the belt pass through these straps on the bag, and then go back to the strap that's on the belt. That keeps it tight so it doesn't flop around too much when it's on your waist. Then when you go through the quick release, make sure that it's not twisted anywhere. You want the smaller strap to be clean so that when you close it and then open it, it'll release clean. You also wanna make sure that it is closed tight so it doesn't come open by accident. So. Again, when you put this on your waist, what you wanna do is put this onto your dominant side. The reason it's on our side is that if you get folded over by the current, right, and can't access the middle area of your body over here, then you could still release it. I could even reach across with my opposite hand and release this belt if I need to. So that's how it works. If you don't wanna carry around this belt system, for example, when I'm rafting or, ca or canoeing, I'm pretty happy to carry around the belt. I'm getting in and out of my boat a lot, maybe going to Scout Rapids, things like that. It's just easy to have on my waist. If I'm kayaking, I usually don't wanna have a big bag like this around my waist all day. Sometimes in that case, I carry a smaller bag on my waist when I'm kayaking, but I still wanna have a high quality rope with me on the river, so I'll put this into my boat and the way I do that is just clipping it in maybe behind me or in front of me in my boat and then when I get out to scout a rapid if I want to carry this with me if I'm getting out to doing safety right I could clip this onto the quick release point on my PFD or my quick release harness and that way again if I need to release this whole thing will come off really easily. A few pointers if you're carrying this around without the belt then we recommend clipping onto an attachment point on the bag that's not the rope. So something like this over here works pretty well. The problem with clipping onto the rope itself is that the bag will hang upside down and that makes it more likely if you knock into it that the rope is just going to come out and that'll make a mess of rope in the river. So again, something other than the rope itself like this attachment point over here on this bag would work well. And then you could clip that either on the quick release harness on your PFD on the side or on the back and carry it in a way that you could release from it if you need to. A couple other important points for safety with throw bags. One is that you wanna make sure when you're carrying this around that it is closed all the way. So when you're stuffing the throw bag you go little by little that way it will throw out nicely but at the very end make sure it gets all in there and then just make sure that toggle is shut right down and that's closed down as much as possible the other thing you'll notice is that we don't have a knot at the end of our throw bag so we refer to this as throwing clean rope that way if somebody were to get tangled up in the rope and you need to let go and this is floating along in the river, it's less likely that it's gonna snag on something. So we're real proponents of throwing clean rope, having no unnecessary knots in your throw bag. So especially that one at the end.